Hi, I'm David Baxter, and welcome to Cabarrus This Week. This week we're at the Boss Grist Mill. Beautiful place out here. We're going to tell you all about that. Got a lot of information today, so grab that pen and paper so you can jot that contact info down. But, uh, you know, if you uh, forget about it, don't worry about it, because we're going to give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show. Now, right here at Boss Grist Mill, it's 260 acres of this beautiful facility out here. Beautiful area, and it's, you know, one of the, I think, one of the more scenic historical places all in Cabarrus County. Now, the Boss Grist Mill was established around 1810, but with the current building, it dates back to the 1870s. Now, the Boss Grist Mill, they grind corn into mill and grits using the same stones and the same method and water wheel they did in the 1800s. One of the most interesting things in the mill for me was a water wheel from the original 1810 mill that was discovered two years ago after a flood and it was underwater and it's in amazing condition. Now the Boss Grist Mill, they host all sorts of various events throughout the year, includes vendors, sometimes reenactments, displays, and uh, more, all kinds of different things to help visitors experience what life was back in the 1800s. Now they also hold events like an ice cream sundae that's happening every Sunday through October 7th from 1 to 5 p.m. and you can visit the mill, have a picnic, or maybe just an ice cream cone and there's no admission charge. Now also though, tours and other services are available, but you got to make sure that you call ahead to schedule those things. Now there's a couple other events coming up. Uh, touch of Yesterday, which is kind of a Heritage Day, October 6th and 7th. They also have, for the first time, a Civil War Lantern Tour. That's going to be on November the 17th. And at Christmas time, of course, they kind of decorate it all with the Christmas to kind of help you get into the festive spirit. So for more information on the Boss Grist Mill, and that's located at 4701 Highway 200 in Concord, just call 704-782. 1600 or visit bossgristmill.com. Now, I tell you what, the Cabarrus County Fair is so close right now, I can almost taste those deep fried Snickers bars, or maybe I shouldn't. But anyway, they're, it's right here. The fair begins on September the 7th and it runs through Saturday, September the 15th. Now, discount tickets are still available up until September the 6th. So, you know, you can still grab those. Now, this year, the Cabarrus County Fair is commemorating its 60 years, and it's ready to host this full nine days of all kinds of fun, excitement, music, rides, and all kinds of animals. Hey, I think you can milk a cow there. Now, on uh, September the 8th, on Saturday, they just want to cut the ribbon, and they got a present for you. If you come there between, oh, I'll say 1 and 3 p.m., Admission is free. What a great gift, you know? So now if you want to find out all about the, all the schedules, events that are going on at the fair, just go to CabarrusCountyFair.com. And like I said, discount tickets are still available until Thursday, September the 6th. And that's why supplies last. And you can purchase the tickets at the Cabarrus Arena in a box office or online at CabarrusCountyFair.com. And when you purchase in advance, you can save up to $7. Advance tickets are good for any single day entry and uh, cost for adults $5, $3 for children, and $15 for those really cool one day ride wristbands. For more information on the Cabarrus County Fair beginning Friday, September the 7th at Cabarrus Arena, located at 4759 U.S. Highway 49 in Concord, just call 704 786 7221 or visit Cabarrus County Fair. Dot com. Now maybe you think you have what it takes to survive in the wilderness. You know, if you get stranded in the woods, what would you do? I'm not sure what I would do, but you can get a lot of those skills if you go to Survival Training Day, and that's at Franklin's Park on Saturday, September the 8th at 10 a.m. And that's all part of the 411 Community Read Project. Take part in the obstacle course. That's comprised of various activities, everything ranging from knot tying to a, a water carry, a bullseye bonanza straw maze, all kinds of things. I don't know what they are, but they sound pretty cool. And at least, hey, then they have mud mayhem. I know what that's about, and that sounds like a great time. So for those who, uh, and those are just a few of the challenges you face, but you know, if you want to find out what other type of survival skills are gonna be taught, well, you're just gonna to have to show up. Now, don't forget the deadline for the short film, bookmark, and costume and the writing contest are all coming up really quickly. Everything is due by Friday, September the 14th. For more information about 411, the Community Read, pick up a brochure at your local library or visit 
411communityread.wordpress.com or facebook.com slash 411communityread. Now, the Modern Film Fest is uh, returning to the big screen after a much-anticipated wait at the Davis Theater, which is a great place to watch a film. What other ways uh, to kind of start things back up with this comedy called Wild wow Target? Hello. Featuring Emily Blunt, Bill Niley, and Rupert Grint. Now, check this out. As a hit man tries to retire from his criminal life, but instead he finds himself an apprentice from a missed target. Now, a thief, a hitman, and a private detective are kind of thick in the whole plot of this comedy. So get there early to get a prime seat. For more information on the featured film, Wild Target, on Friday, September the 7th, 9 p.m., at the Modern Film Festival at the Davis Theater, located at 65 Union Street South in Concord, just call 704-920-2787 or visit cabarrisartscouncil.org. Now, say you're in the market of uh, maybe, you know, kind of looking around for another job. Well, you kind of need to freshen up your resume. Well, the Concord branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library is hosting a Cypress Resume Training Workshop. That's going to be on Thursday, September the 6th at 5.30 p.m. And there's no time like the present to kind of, you know, tweak that resume. And there's, this is really good because you create a resume that highlights your professional ac accomplishments, has a crisp, clean, attention grabbing appearance and this Cypress is a software program that assists with all kinds of various resume templates and formats and it kind of helps you put the, all that organization of all your experiences all together in a really clear and concise way. Registration is required. To register just call 704-920-2054 or more information on the Cypress resume training workshop on Thursday, September the 6th from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. at the Concord Library located at 26 Union Street North in Concord. Just call 704-920-2054 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library and on Facebook, facebook.com slash library. Now this is a, a kind of a sad fact. In Cabarrus County, there's approximately 20,000 adults over the age of 18 who are functionally illiterate. Now, help eliminate this program by spelling the night away at the third annual Buzz Word Spelling Bee, and that's gonna be at the Old Courthouse Theater on Thursday, September the 6th at 5.30 p.m. Now, there's a little friendly competition. They got a number of different teams competing against each other to kind of help raise money for the literacy programs within Cabarrus County. Tickets are $10. There'll be a reception with appetizers provided around 5.30, and the spelling bee will begin at 6.30. So come on out and see what all the buzz is about. And uh, if anybody who really knows me knows, I won't be competing in that spelling contest, okay? Um, for more information on the third annual Buzz Word Spelling Bee, to benefit the Cabarrus Literacy Council on Thursday, September the 6th at 5.30 p.m. at the Old Courthouse Theater, located at 49 Spring Street Northwest in Concord, just call 704-920-2223 or just visit cabarrusliteracy.org. And it really is a whole lot of fun. Now, you know, kids don't always have to be the only ones who are constantly learning coming back to school this year. Why not learn a little bit more about services that could help you or maybe your family or friends in the community? Well. The way you do that is you go to County Government 101, and that's going to answer a lot of your questions and also how decisions are made and the impact of county programs and services in the community. County Government 101 is a free eight-week course where you take part in all kinds of different activities. These are really good. There's a simulated balanced budget, so you kind of get an understanding of how the, the budget's all balanced and all the different things that are involved in that. Also, how you know planning and zoning happens. Uh, and you get, this is the fun part also, is you get a little behind the scenes tours of a lot of different county facilities. And uh, you learn about sustainability, public safety, transportation, human services, and uh, even county history, which is really intriguing. Now, County Government 101 is open to any person 16 years old uh, or older, is a resident of Cabarrus County, neighborhood associations and representatives and civic groups. This is a great class uh, for anybody involved in that. It gives you a really good understanding of local government. Now, the class will meet on Tuesday, September the 18th through November the 20th from 6 to 8 p.m. at Cabarrus County Governmental Center at 65 Church Street. 
in Concord. Class is free, but registration is required. A light meal will be served at each one of the sessions. To register for County Government 101, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner, click the County Government folder, and for more information, visit cabarruscounty.us. And I'd suggest going ahead and uh, getting registered early so that you can get you a place there. Now it's time also, if you want to kind of do a little treasure hunt, well, you can see kind of what's hidden at Frank List Park, and that's going to be on Saturday, September the 8th at 10 a.m., and it's a geocaching workshop. Now, the definition, of course, we've talked about geocaching before. It's a, This is kind of a game where you have different players that use their GPS to search out different caches that are hidden all throughout uh, Frank List Park. And you can even find some on geocaching.com. Now, the workshop is geared for children five and up. Cost is $2. To register for geocaching workshop by Thursday, September the 6th, just go to cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner, type in the word geocaching in the class search box. For more information on geocaching workshop held on Saturday, September the 8th from 10 to 11 a.m. at Frank List Park, just call 704-920-2701 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks or facebook.com slash cabarruscountyparks. And you know, don't worry, if you don't have a GPS, uh, they can uh, let you one, borrow one from the parks. Now, there's, you know, a lot of times, you know, fall's coming up, this is a great time of year to kind of be walking downtown Concord on an art walk. Now the galleries are hosting an art walk on Friday, September the 7th from 6 to 9 p.m. in downtown Concord. So come on out and support your local businesses and experience kind of five years of art in Cabarrus County. The art walk co coincides with the High Five exhibit that's going on at the galleries. And um, that's a celebration. This is really, it's hard to believe, it's the fifth anniversary for the galleries. They've invited back 50 of their local artists uh, to showcase the work they've done over the last five years. So come stroll through the local galleries in downtown Concord, check out the displayed pieces, and also you can, you can hear musicians, and you can swing by the galleries, and they'll have four artists actually performing different demonstrations. Entertainment and refreshments are going to be provided, and Art Walk maps are available a week before the event. For more information on the Art Walk on September the 7th from 6 p.m., till 9 p.m. in downtown Concord, just call 704-920-2787 or visit cabarrusartscouncil.org. Well, we decided to come on down and explore a little bit more of the Boss Grist Mill property. We're out here on the, the Rocky River, beautiful place, um, very scenic, uh, very peaceful. I mean, again, just a beautiful piece of property out here. Now, summer might be slowing down, but cars, the cars, yeah, they're speeding up. They're kind of racing to the, I don't know, the Kannapolis Cruise Inn. That's going to be on Saturday, September the 8th at 3.30 p.m. Now, you know, they're going to come out there and they're going to show off their cars. They're going to have all kinds of great music, great atmosphere around there. And, you know, if you have kind of a vintage car, want to bring, show up there, that'd be good. Or maybe you just want to appreciate it. Now, make sure that you don't put your hands on these beauties because, you know, they're somebody's baby but it's a great place to go have a good time and enjoy those vintage cars. So for more information on the free Kannapolis Cruise Inn on Saturday, September the 8th from 3.30 to 9.30 p.m. on West Avenue in downtown Kannapolis, just call 704-932-3808 or visit cabarrusevents.org. Now you don't want to miss out on any of the other opportunities of the 411 Community Read uh, just because you haven't read the book. So just go on out and grab you a copy of The Hunger Games, that's by Suzanne Collins, and you can join in all the fun. Now after you start reading it, then head over to the Concord Library on Tuesday, September the 4th at 5.30 p.m., and they're going to have a book discussion there. Now The Hunger Games gained all kinds of popularity, of course, you know, the, the books and also the movie. So join Snow Wildsmith, a librarian and a book reviewer, and in a book discussion. You can give their, your feedback on the theme, the characters, kind of the differences between the books and the movie, and a whole lot more. Now registration is required. To register, just call 704-920-2053. For more information on the book discussion on The Hunger Games, a part of the 411 Community Read on Tuesday, September the 4th from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m., at the Concord Library that's located at 27 Union Street North in Concord, simply call 704-920-2050 or visit cabarruscounty.us library or you can just go to facebook.com 
Cabarrus County Library. Now, September the 8th is International Literacy Day. Now, help make a difference to maybe some a neighbor of yours or someone else in the community by volunteering and participating in the Cabarrus Literacy Tutor Training Workshop. That's going to be on Saturday, September the 15th at 9 a.m., and that's going to be at the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. Spend the day and learn how to help adult students with their pre-GED classes and all sorts of other programs. You can bring a bag lunch, but uh, drinks are going to be provided for you. For more information on the Cabarrus Literacy Tutor Training Workshop, Saturday, September the 15th at 9.30 a.m. until 3.30 p.m., at the Kannapolis Library, and that's located at 850 Mountain Street in Kannapolis. Just call 704-920-2223 or email literacy at cabarruscounty.us. Now, the uh, Cabarrus Regional Chamber of Commerce is going to have a full day of events planned for local residents and businesses on Tuesday, September the 11th. That's beginning at 8.30 a.m. Now, the day is going to start up with a job fair, which is great for everybody, from 8.30 to 10.30, and then follow a mobile blood drive afterwards until 10 a.m., or excuse me, from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. Don't forget to call 704-972-4721 ahead of time to schedule your appointment, or you can just register at carolinadonor.com. Now, all first responders of Cabarrus County, and that's including fire, law enforcement, and uh, EMTs, are invited to a luncheon in their honor from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m., so, you, but you need to call to, to get your place at the table there. The day will end with the annual business showcase, and that's beginning at noon and running until 9 p.m. To introduce to you, 40 or 50 different businesses in the community. All events will take place at the Concord Christian Church, and it's a free event and open to the public. For more information on the business showcase hosted by the Cabarrus Regional Chamber of Commerce on Tuesday, September the 11th, with events from 8.30 a.m. until 9 p.m., at the Concord Christian Church at 3101 Davidson Highway in Concord. Call 704-260-8105 or visit www.cabarrus.biz. Now I know we've had a lot of different information on today's show, so if you missed any kind of contact information, you can just go to our web address, which is cabarruscounty.us, and right there in the search box, put in the topic, and you can find that information. But if you have any kind of problems with that, you can just pop us an email at channel22.cabarruscounty.us. And, of course, the easiest way is sign up for the Cabarrus County, or Cabarrus This Week newsletter. And uh, you can do that on any of the home, any of the pages on the website. Put in your name, your email address, you're all set. And that comes to you, has all the contact information, and also a lot of other tidbits that we don't even talk about on the show. So it's a, it's a great thing to have right at your fingertips. And if uh, family or friends don't have Time Warner Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, or you just want to watch us when you want to, then just go to cabarruscounty.us. Right there on the, on the home page in the lower left, you see a video screen right below it. It says Channel 22 Programs. Click on that, and you have access to all the different programs that we broadcast here on Channel 22, and you can watch them on demand whenever you'd like. And I tell you, if you've never been to the Boss Grist Mill, really want to thank uh, Brenda and Jean uh, Boss for having us out here. This is a beautiful place out here. I just kind of want to hang out on the river for a little bit. Uh, but you get a chance, come on out. It's, a, it's, a, it's educational and historic, and it's just a, a gorgeous part of Cabarrus County. Well, until next week, you have a great day.